What's going on guys, this is Chris from Terrestrial Imaging and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to use the Mavic 3 Enterprise with the RTK module and the DRTK2 mobile station. So the Mavic 3 Enterprise is the newest drone in the DJI Enterprise lineup and features a 20 megapixel micro four thirds sensor with a global mechanical shutter. With the larger sensor and a longer flight time of 43 minutes, the Mavic 3 Enterprise replaces the Phantom 4 RTK and becomes DJI's new go-to portable mapping drone. Before we get into setting up the RTK, first let's go over what RTK is and whether or not you actually need it. RTK, or real-time kinematics, is the process of actually correcting your GPS data in real time. When flying with just the drone's GPS, there is a margin of error, but when using RTK, you utilize a second GPS system to correct those errors in real time. If you do not need a high level of accuracy when flying, then you may not need an RTK module or RTK ground station to correct those errors. When getting to your job site, the first piece of equipment you should set up is your base station. You want to make sure it has as much time as possible to log GPS data before flying in order to make sure that there's enough data to be used for RTK corrections. In this video, we're setting up the DJI DRTK2 mobile station. However, you can use a non-DJI base station or connect to an NCHIP account, but we will not be going over that in this video. The DJI base station is compatible with the entire DJI Enterprise lineup, and its seamless integration makes it simple to use. When setting up the base station, it's recommended to put it on a known point if possible, but if there isn't one available, that's okay too. When setting up the tripod, make sure to adjust the legs to the appropriate length, and when you're ready, secure the tripod to the ground by stepping onto the pegs at the base of each leg. Before moving on to the rest of the setup, check the level on the top of the tripod to make sure your base is as level as possible. Once things look good, go ahead and insert the pole into the tripod, but don't lock it in yet, because we're going to be putting the RTK head on the pole, and we're going to have to power it on before increasing the pole's height. If you already own DJI equipment, then perhaps you already own some WB-37s. You'll be happy to know that the same WB-37s that power some of your controllers, or provide them with extra battery, are also compatible with the RTK base station. When connecting to the pole, just double check the level on the tripod again, and also reference the level on the RTK head to make sure everything is good. To power on the RTK head, you will hold down the center button for a couple of seconds until the RTK head boots up. Make sure the RTK module is in mode 5 where it won't connect to the Mavic 3 Enterprise. When removing the Mavic 3 Enterprise from the case, make sure it has the RTK module attached and remove the gimbal cover before powering it on. When I set my drones up on the launch bed, I always make sure to flare out all of the props to prevent any excess shaking when the motors engage. Once ready, power on the drone by performing a short press followed by a long press on the battery power button. Next, we have to make sure we have RTK enabled. Press the three dots on the top right of the screen and make sure RTK positioning is toggled on. Scroll down and confirm you are connected to the DJI DRTK2, and if you aren't, click on it and connect. Next, you would create your mapping mission and set the area of interest on the screen. Once complete, make sure to select DJI Mavic 3E from the list and select the wide camera option. From here, set the flight parameters as necessary. Once complete, save the mission and press the play button to send the mission to the drone. Check the pre-flight checklist and make sure you see RTK connected at the top of the screen. And once everything is checked over, upload the mission to the drone and hit start. The Mavic 3 Enterprise will autonomously take off and complete the mission. From here, you will just monitor the mission and make sure you see the RTK text at the top of the screen during the entire flight. If connection drops, you may have some data that hasn't been corrected. All right, so now that we've completed our mission, we're gonna go back to the office and I'm gonna show you guys how to use DJI Terra to process the images that we just captured. In Terra, you're going to want to have reconstruction selected on the top left and then hit new mission on the bottom left. From here, select visible light. Next, name your reconstruction, and then we're going to click the folder icon and select the folder that holds all of the images from our drone. Once the folder is selected, we will check 2D map because we flew a mapping mission. 
Here you can tweak the settings to your liking, and in advanced settings, you can add known points and adjust further. Once ready, click Start Reconstruction and wait for it to finish. When it's finished, you will see the 2D model overlaid on your map, and you can zoom in and out with ease and change the map view. You also have access to measuring tools. So that's it for this video. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time.